What's up everybody? This is Carrick with ACG and welcome to another What Do You Think video where we get to discuss a title after its initial release. And then in the next discussion video, we'll go over the various comments that you guys leave on this one and we'll sort of discuss where the rubber meets the road and who agrees and who disagrees and on what. One of the things before I ever started reviewing is that I never really felt other than the review video itself, maybe, or a couple forums, that I was really able to discuss things with creators or with reviewers. Many times in other places, it just doesn't seem to really work that well. Now we have a discord for that for patrons, but these videos really are the place to sit down and discuss the game after its release and really dive into it. Deadfire really is interesting to me, and especially looking at the Metacritic of 89, and you guys know I am not a fan of aggregating down a bunch of context into a friggin' score. But here in particular, I find it interesting because when you look at it, a lot of people are saying this hasn't really actually sold incredibly well. Now, much of this might be likely due to the various ways that folks can get their hands on the game or, or more difficult numbers from Steam, but it looks to have sold anywhere from 100,000 to 200,000. And of course, there's a large variance there, but what do you think? Why did you not buy it if you were going to? Or why did you not buy it and why did this not interest you after seeing reviews? If you did buy it and liked it, what did you like or dislike? And of course, try to keep the comments at least somewhat civil. For me, while I found the story and the locations not as interesting as the past title, the gameplay changes really nailed it for me. And wading into enemies three bodies deep with a monk wizard backed up with fighters, a druid who punched people in the throat, and singing sword swingers, it really did feel like Deadfire's combat system had aced a lot of those changes. And many of those changes, like the resting dynamics as well as the per-encounter abilities, propped the game up into this situational awareness versus rushing off to find the next quiet place so your folks can take a friggin' siesta kind of battle system, and I absolutely adored that, and I think it worked really well as a subtle change-up. I was also really surprised overall at the performance when you include the huge changes to the lighting engine in particular, and sadly, past games release issues, also coupled with just poor performance, were something that I was expecting. It was awesome to play it, not have the frame rate slow down and so it looked like a friggin' Harryhausen movie. Lastly, let's talk a little bit about the consoles just for a second. Deadfire is, of course, going to get a second wind when it's later released on the consoles. What do you think about that? Did you get to experience it originally on the consoles? I know a lot of people have issues with the control schemes and the mouse and keyboard versus controller, but I actually felt that Pillars handled it quite well for a game of its ilk and certainly a game that was that complex. And I'm excited to see how this all fleshes out. So this is the place to make your voice heard. Go ahead and put a comment in the comments section and I will read those and I will discuss them as always as we do in a later video most likely the international podcast which once again will be going live here very soon once I take care of one or two small technical bits also absolutely stay tuned to ACG make sure you have the bell notification clicked near the subscribe button if you're not noticing that you're getting video alerts all the time when they go live I have a bunch of reviews coming out in just the next couple weeks it is an incredibly busy time for me as well as more cool information about what's going on in the channel if you get a chance, check out Twitter or Reddit. I have accounts both there. You can follow me. And of course, if you want to become a patron, you can go to the Patreon website and jump into our Discord. Do role-playing, play video games, just discuss games, even more in-depth than here, whichever you may like. Peace out and enjoy the rest of your week.